Hello, hello. I'm going to talk to you tonight. We don't have anyone on Zoom at the moment. So if someone watches the recording later, good on you. Tell us what you love. But we're so glad you're here for Prepare for the Fair. This is one of the happiest times of the year for me and for Angie. <laughs> we kind of count down the days. And so in my mind, I'm thinking, hello there. I was thinking a lot about the state fair, but I also want you to think about county fairs that might be going on. And I know down your way, did it just end or is it going on still? Okay, so um, hello. So some of them are, are in progress. Some of them have just ended. It all applies the same, but some of the things that I will be sharing are, are just tips that I have learned over the years for the state fair because you're on your feet a lot more you're there usually for longer hours than you would be at a county fair so anyway let's let's get started i kind of divided this up into things that you can think about ahead of time so like now things to do the night before you go and how to pack and prepare the day of and there may even be a little recovery next in. <laughs> okay, so let's talk a little bit about ahead of time. When, when you think about going out for a very long day, hot weather, large crowds, eating out, first of all, you have to get your mind right, okay? I have met some people, even this week, who told me, oh, we are not fair people. And I'm just like, what you're not oh, I mean, right. like i take it personally and i always tell them if i was your tour guide you would be a fair person yeah. because i would show you how to have fun and what to go see and what to avoid but truth, of, truth be told not everyone is cut out for the fair but i think you have to get your head right and you have to know ahead of time duh there's going to be a lot of people right and and so you do things like get there early. Well, it's a little cooler before the crowds are really thick and you kind of get yourself acclimated, okay? Um, so before you go, number one thing I'm gonna say is footwear. And I'm not kidding. Function over fashion, remember it. <laughs> Nobody cares what shoes you're wearing the day of the fair, but you will regret it if you tried to wear cute shoes and then your feet hurt at noon, you're gonna hate yourself. <laughs> so find the right shoes that you love and stick with those. If you're out of shape, if you have not been walking, start walking in the heat every day. If start around the block and then try to get a quarter of a mile, half a mile, because you will for sure Angie, do you track your steps? Yeah. I, I thought I remembered that you did. What do you generally, are you like 15,000 15, to 20,000? That's what I figured. So a full day at the fair, you're going to have, I don't know what that equates to, but five, six miles, four. Okay. Okay. So yeah, you're going to have several miles on your feet. So don't make that be the first walk that you've had in August. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> because when you add in the heat, I'm serious, you'll regret that. So get yourself in shape. And also you'll be happy when September comes, if you feel good, right? Um, buy your tickets in advance. And this is specifically for the state fair. So note to self, I haven't done it yet, but every high V sells discounted tickets up until the day before the fair. Are they on sale? Right now. Fairway. Yep. Fairway. And oh, fairway. Thank you. Okay. Same price. I assume. Okay. So save your money. You know, Skyla, I'm going to tell you, be a good steward of what you have, right? So get them. If you have family coming in from out of town, get all the tickets. And if you end up getting more than what you need, you stand at the gate and you sell them and you can make a dollar on each ticket. There you go. That's your tip. Um, okay. The other thing, at least a week before, I would recommend that you start taking an inner defense every day. Okay, 
prepare the inside of yourself, you know you're going to be around a ton of people. And I would have given you the same advice four years ago that I'm giving you right now, but just be smart, right? Like you're going to be brushing elbows and using water fountains and bathrooms and whatnot. So beef up that immune system before you go. All right. The night before the fair. I'm so excited. You have butterflies in your stomach because it's finally the night before, right? <laughs> Do you share my joy? Yes, I share. I work at the fair. fair. That's a really I'm not about the Working fair. at it. Yeah, I worked at the fair. That's a whole different ball of wax. That's intense. But it is. It is. You you've got to double psych yourself up to work there. <laughs> okay, so the night before, this is when you want to pack your bag. Okay, and I recommend either a fanny pack or a backpack because you're going to want your hands free. Okay, because you're probably going to be clapping a lot and you're going to be waving and eating, eating. <laughs> double fisting it, right? Petting animals, whatever. But you want your hands free. So don't, don't take a handbag that's super cute that you have to carry. That's silly. Okay, again, nobody's judging you on your, your fashion. Um, you're going to want to pack, we're going to talk about what to pack, but um, the, the categories that we're going to focus on. Cleanliness is number one. So all the thieves, right? We're gonna we're gonna dive into that. You're gonna have an energy category. And you guys are gonna help brainstorm some great things for energy. Patience. Don't forget to pack your patience. And we have oils for that, believe it or not, right, Donna? We have oils for patience. At least to do the mind. Right, well. right. Okay. And then probably one of the biggest categories for the fair is the digestive support category. Okay. Because you know you've been waiting for this moment to eat everything on a stick that they offer. And you're going to indulge and it's going to be amazing. So there are little tricks that you can do during the day that will help you not regret it the next day. Okay. Um, we're going to pack things like lip balm and insect repellent. If you like to be in the grass, maybe at the livestock shows, something like that. If you're a sunscreen wearer, you're going to, you're going to pack that. Okay. You can also beef up your Ningxia Red and your Super B starting now and just ramp that up. And you remember we can create natural sunscreen from within. So we have that option. And then first aid. If you don't need it, I guarantee you, you will see someone who does and you'll be the amazing friend or new friend that has all the stuff, okay? So let's start, let's start with this. This is a fun little tip that I learned from my friend, Karen Smith. Kudos to you, Karen. Right now, and many times during the year, if you go to Target, if you get three packages of Band-Aids, you can pick up a free first aid bag. Okay, so I just got this this afternoon. I have not even cut off the tag yet, but this thing comes with little pouches. It's got waterproof dividers and it is darn handy. And this, this would slide into a backpack real, easily. Okay. These are also fantastic for the car. Go under the seat or in the glove box, whatever. Okay. So we talked about thieves, right? It's a category unto itself, but I would say the top three that you're going to want to have are these three. Okay. You can take your mouthwash if you want to, I don't know if you'll be kissing people or whistling, but these three are the most important. So I'm surveying the crowd. You guys know these exceedingly well. Um, so I won't, I won't pass those around. If you do want me to pass anything around, just say the word. But hand sanitizer, it just sort of goes without saying, right? Everywhere. This, I mean, at every class I do, I talk about taking this with me four times like at the state fair when you have to go to the bathroom. 
I just figure I'm blessing everyone after me. If I spray down the toilet and the little handle, like just make it smell good because some of those don't. So that's, that is a gift and tabletops. If you've got little ones, just give it a nice cleaning. You'll be good to go. Okay. Um, well, hello, Rhonda. Hi. Uh, let's see. Okay. So, um, Let's talk about the energy category because this, we can build up our stamina, but there's also some things that we have at our disposal to help with that, right? So what do you guys think of first when you think of energy boosts from Young Living? Bingo. Yes. I think it's so important. I put it in the first aid kit. <laughs> okay, so nitro for sure. Um, packing a few of these for the day to sprinkle in would be a great idea. This is a wonderful burst of energy that can help you cognitively and help you stay awake and clear and that sort of thing. Okay. Let's also think about the oils that we have that help support energy. Watch out. My dog got the two wings. <laughs> Ninja Nitro fit in. Oh it. no! I don't want to waste it, so I just squeeze it out. There you go. Instead of yeah, so keep that away from your pets. That's don't smell it. That's a good idea. <laughs> Do you think you got any? Probably a little. I can only imagine. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> okay, that's good. Hours. Just hyper. Yeah. yeah hyper. <laughs> All right. So. So in terms of oil, how many of you have ever tried energy? Okay, it's a great one to have on hand. Just dab a little on your wrists or on your neck or just open it and inhale it. Energy is a huge one. Um, the other that we keep constantly in circulation is peppermint. And at the state fair, I would recommend taking a 15 ml bottle because not only is it great to wake you up, but what's it also going to do? Cool you down, okay? So on the back of the neck, be careful if you're sweating. Some people have said that that interaction, it doesn't bother me so much, but if your pores are open and you're sweating, the peppermint can be a little spicy. <laughs> it's the best way to say it. But the other thing you can, can do is if you have an empty spray bottle, you can repurpose one of these and stick a new label on it or grab yourself a little spray bottle, put about 10 drops of peppermint in there, fill it up with water and just have a cooling mist that you can spray on. And then you go in the livestock barn and you stand in front of the big fan, heaven, and everyone behind you will thank you because you just removed the smell of- But you put the oils in that? Plastic, in the plastic I would. I'm not eating it. Just, just for a little. Yeah. I mean, that would be a day supply probably at the state fair. It is because I mean, there's oils. There's oils in here. Yeah. True. So. Yeah. So that would work. Um, but just think about all the cooling things. The other thing that is a favorite of mine, um, and I know that this is made for skin comfort, but this also I love it for cooling down. So you can, you can spray a little lavaderm um, on your face or on your arms. And that is a great, a great thing to cool down. Now let's talk about supplements for energy. What comes to mind first? Super B and what else? That one is amazing. And I was super D, the, the vitamin D multigreens. For me, and everybody might be a little bit different, but super B and multi-greens together is almost like a nitro. Because that combination just wakes me up and gives me a lot of stamina. So take those in the morning before you go. And then you may want to take another dose about two o'clock. So keep that in mind. Um, okay, let's talk about the patients category. We're gonna have long lines. We're going to have probably a few people that woke up on the wrong side of the bed, maybe, okay? And 
you're going to show up with kindness overflowing because you have the benefits of oils, right? So I would highly recommend that you bring your stress away. Everybody will love how it smells, first of all, right? Have you guys ever had a compliment about your delicious smelling perfume when you have stress away on? I love it. I always tell people it's a functional perfume. It doesn't just smell good, but it does stuff. And when you're standing in line, it's nice to just radiate that. So stress away is awesome for patients. Valor is great if you're having a moment. Um, the other thing that I thought about, this is kind of another, another category, but if you have kids or even as adults, if you are participating in a competition, when I was in 4-H, I did a lot of educational presentations and so I was speaking. And sometimes that can just get a little nerve wracking or if you're taking a project and you have to talk to a judge, um, a little bit of valor can be extremely helpful. So oil up and, and use those. Um, and I didn't even really get into using oils on livestock, but if you know people that show animals, Mm. it's very helpful to get those thousand pound beasts in the right mood to be shown. Um, okay. Hey, Melissa had a good idea. Oh, do share. Um, I think white angelica is also good too because it takes other people's bad energy off of you. Right so on. And it, it's like you can read this. <laughs> yes, because how many of you do Gary State? great day protocol. Okay, so, hi, oh my goodness. Long time no see, Max. Good to see ya. Um, nice shirt, ice cream sandwiches, oh my word. You, you can just put them on that chair, it's all right. So, um, oh my gosh, I just lost it. It was brilliant. Yeah, but Gary's, Gary's great day protocol. So I have been doing that daily. It is one of the consistent things, you know me, I'm not horribly consistent about anything, but I have had those same four oils on the top shelf of my oil rack in my bathroom. I bet I'm going on three years of every blessed day. And as they run out, I just replace the bottle. Joy, joy. So joy over the heart, pull it out, would you? Marla, Marla just brought her new Gary's Great Day Protocol collection, which is incredible. And if you do not have this, that'd be great if you would. It is, it is. So joy over the heart, harmony over the solar plexus, um, valor on the wrists and white angelica all over you. And, and what I wrote down on my paper was it might be good to do a double dose of white angelica or just take that one with you. Because what's the solar plexus? like right at the bottom of the rib cage. Okay. Yeah. So that collection is amazing. And it comes with a video of Gary, which is really special. So if you need like an extra, extra shot of Gary in your life. That's well surprised last time. It is. Yes. But I think it's starting on sale for the National Procedure Day and it's great, but Yeah. So why not? And it's a very good deal. Thank you for bringing that. Um, all righty. So let's talk about digestive support. And I did not bring my supplements tonight, you guys. I'm sorry, but we're going we're gonna to talk through this. All the enzymes, every one of them. Okay. When you wake up the day of the fair, you're going to take which one? Essential zyme the big horse pill one that's kind of two-tone in color, okay? That's the one I take in the morning. And then what I would do is I would pack your essential sign four that comes in the blister pack. I would take a whole strip of that and I would take a good handful of which one? Yes. I would take those with you and after every treat, every meal, every snack, whatever, just pop a couple of essential sign fours because it's letting your body work with what you're giving it. 
And we may as well try to counteract it throughout the day as opposed to waiting until 11 p.m. and getting home and going, oh, I probably should have been sprinkling that throughout the day. I promise you it will make it go better, okay? And then as you need them, take the detox sign a couple at a time. But I just think sprinkling that throughout the day is gonna make that a much more pleasant experience. So, and then of course, the night before, I, I hope you're all taking Life 9 just to give your, your digestive system those probiotics. And don't forget to do that the night of the fair, okay? Um, yes, yes. Absolutely. And when would you take it? I would take it when you just like the enzymes weren't moving. Okay, so during the day? Maybe if you ate too much or you ate something that's not really not agreeing. Settling, yeah. Yeah, I would take it. Because there's a high likelihood that you're going to combine some foods that day that you don't normally combine. And, and so that is a good friend I'm so glad it's back. too. I am too. We're getting, we're getting our supply built up. How many do you take? I didn't just take this, one. Okay. okay. I, I took one of the Caves 10. Yep. Perfect. Yeah. This thing right here. These are the best little supplement holders ever. Um, yeah, this one has inner defense. So, but it holds them so nice. And then they, yeah. So that can go in the first aid kit as well. What other, what other digestive, yes, yes, without question, right? Um, Keep it on you. And if you don't want your hand to smell like the digest during the fair, what are you going to put on? Just a roller. Oh, okay, you put peppermint on it. Yes. <laughs> yes. But you can put a roller on your digest, right? And just, psh, yeah, rub it on your feet, rub it on your stomach, whatever. You're good to go. Okay. Um, what about Mighty Zymes and Mighty Pro? Does anybody take those? We, we keep those around mostly for my husband who doesn't like to swallow pills. So all of those chewable ones are awesome. And he usually takes double whatever it recommends for the kids, but those enzymes are fantastic. The other thing that may come in handy um, is alkaline. If you are eating a lot of acidic food, which you probably will be, um, taking a little water break and just dumping some alkaline. They come in those convenient little individual pouches, right? So it's easy to throw a couple of those in your bag or in the first aid kit, and you'll have those handy. Um, and also amino wise for uh, electrolytes. Okay, perfect. And the drops. The drops, vitality drops. Yeah. Absolutely. I have gotten to the point where. I hardly want to drink my water bottle unless it has vitality drops in it. I was never that way, but man, they're good. Yeah. I just love those things. And I don't even care which flavor it is, but they're so good. So yeah, pack, pack all of that stuff um, so that you're ready and encourage yourself to drink water at the fair. Um, there's tons of other things to drink for sure, but another financial tip. <laughs> If you just promise yourself, I'm just going to drink water today so that I can enjoy all the tasty foods, massive, massive money saver. And I can just promise you, if you've ever worked in the food industry, they're making all their money on pot, all of it. <laughs> well, food too there, but, but there's an insane markup. So don't, don't waste your money on that one. Okay. Um, all right. Let's, let's dive into what you would include. And you can think beyond the fair, but what are your top literal first aid kind of products? Ba okay, band-aids, absolutely. Yes, animal sense ointment or rose ointment, either one so that you've got some kind of a salve going on. The owie roll-on, yes, I did not bring owie. Um, 
What about our friends, Cyprus and Helichrism? Has anybody ever gashed themselves on anything? Look at that well-loved lid. <laughs> that, yeah, one's been, hanging out with the that one's been around the block. <laughs> And she is adorable. So helichrism, I, I always apply directly to the wound. And then remember that cypress is the one that you put on the opposite side of the heart from wherever the wound is, because it pulls that blood back to the heart, to the heart. I can't even talk. <laughs> and we've had multiple experiences with that at home. And I can tell you that it works every time. So, okay, so wait a minute. So you have a cut here, mm -hmm. you apply it over here. Mm -hmm. You've heard that before, haven't you? No, I have not heard that. Oh my goodness. Yeah. We, it, so it draws this, all the circulation back to the heart and it works quickly. So, yes. So he, Cypress is the one that you want to put on the opposite side, but I always do, I always do helichrism right on or around the wound. Okay. Lavender, lavender. Yeah, I was going to say, what about lavender? Lavender, I would never ever be without because there's just so many things you can use it for, right? From bug bites to crying children to blister. Yes, sunburn. I mean, it is. I had to eat with the rotor ball. Yes. It hangs in my kitchen on the magnet. Oh, with the ball. so smart. Well, that's because I use it now. <laughs> Very smart. Yes. So <laughs> lavender will be your best friend. I would, I would just keep a big bottle of that. The other thing that I'm sure a lot of you seasoned pros know, but the lavender lip balm, mm -hmm. I don't know if you want to take a piece of red electrical tape and designate one of these as your first aid salve, but lavender lip balm is awesome to rub on scrapes, scratches, bug bites, whatever. And you may not want to mix it with what you put on your lips, but yeah, you can use your finger and then apply it. It, it is so wonderful. I do so, that when it gets old. Okay, I, take, take the end of it. That, then I use the rest of it. Up. Okay, perfect, perfect. Don't waste any of them. Yeah, don't waste them. They're too good. They're too good. Um, okay, what about purification? How would you use this in a first aid scenario? Okay. Yep. Bug bites. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yes. Yeah. We've had a kid get one of those when we were away from home and I was darn glad that I had it so I could go down those eustachian tubes on the side of the neck. Um, that's a very, very powerful one. Um, Copaiba is another one. I know we just had a, a accident at convention and <laughs> we pulled out Copaiba and frankincense yes, and, and it, it helped make a difference. So that Copaiba, if you have inflammation of any kind, it's going to help reduce that pretty darn quickly. So remember that it's an amplifier, just like peppermint. So you can apply copaiba on top of some other oil. So if you've got deep relief or pan away, something like that, you can put a layer of copaiba over it and that will help reduce that. What's your favorite pain relieving product? Because you're definitely going to want to have that in here. Pan away? Pan away. The cream or the drops, the muscle rub. Okay. I was hoping someone would say that. Cool with your pain. Yes, I, I am 100% in love with this stuff. And you've got the little tins that would be fantastic to go in, in your kit. I happened to grab this one tonight, but if you have anything that hurts, rub that on there, you guys. It just what, takes, so what's the secret to that? Because takes I have it away. saying it doesn't work that way. Are they not applying enough? Or? Oh, man. I think... I, yeah, oh. I like the 600. I think it's just like with the but, thing, everybody's pain is subjective. Yeah. So, yeah. Right. Like, like, away, like, right. 
Yeah. So maybe then Cami likes CBD. Yeah. Donna mentioned this one. Right. This is also fantastic, but our bodies do respond differently to things. Um, it's a little thin one. Yeah, it's just that there's only the quantity. It. It's a so they, oh, just, yeah, that was so confusing when that they came out with that. <laughs> yeah. Remember, you guys, that this product, the Cool Azul Pain Cream, comes in the individual um, like samples. Okay. So if you don't want to put a whole tube, just put a few of the individual pouches in your first aid kit, and that will work beautifully. Um, <coughs> let's see. Yes. Yep. That's, that's huge. And I probably, I don't personally take zing to the fair because it's too heavy and you got to think strategy wise when you're packing, <laughs> but it is, it's, it's great to mix. I love to mix it with these, but I don't want to carry it around all day. <laughs> so, um, but you could put it in your water bottle the first one. You could, oh. yeah, you could make a red drink okay. and, yeah. and pack yeah. that. That'd be great. Put your sulfur zyme in there and, and mix that together. <laughs> that is a true, that is a true story. <laughs> Okay, so we talked a little bit about if you are participating, what if you were a vendor at the state fair or you were working, are there any other tips that we didn't mention that you would want to make sure that you had with you? Okay, you deal with people. Mm -hmm. Definitely if you're white and jelly. <laughs> yep, <laughs> okay, what if you are selling something at the state fair. Bingo. Yes. You might have, um, maybe you'd have a diffuser in your booth, even if it wasn't Young Living, believe it or not. Um, those diffusers still draw people in. Okay. So think about that. Um, the last category that I want to talk about is going to the fair with the intention that you're going to share at the fair, okay? That is an entirely different mindset. And I will be the first to say, some days I go with the intention that I'm gonna be meeting people and I'm gonna be sharing. And some days it's just for Skyla, okay? I'm just there to take it all in. But there is a mindset shift. If you're going to share at the fair, let's talk about how you would prepare for that, okay? Because there's no reason that you can't do both, okay? Um, so the first thing is your mindset. Every single person that you encounter should be an opportunity to smile at them and to practice starting a conversation. Okay, and does it have to be about Young Living? No, okay, it might be about whatever it is that you're looking at or the food that you're in line to get, but practice starting a conversation. That's the biggest thing. And the fair is the best place to practice because you might bomb with that person and there's a hundred thousand other people, you're, you're never gonna see that one again, okay? Just trust me. Secondly, you might choose to wear a Young Living branded shirt, okay? Maybe you want to carry a Young Living backpack. Marla brought hers tonight from convention, which these are super high-end looking bags. Now, that one might be a little warm to wear. It might be a little for me, <laughs> but it is I love it because it doesn't scream like a flashing billboard. Exactly. But it comes with a fanny pack. And if that is not the smartest accessory on the planet, I don't know what is. So think about, do you want your bag to make a little statement or be a conversation starter for you? 
because it could. Um, if you're going with the intention to share, I would recommend packing some samples. Okay, so I have a graphic um, and you guys have probably all seen it at one time or another, but it's all the different products that Young Living carries that come individually packaged. And I think it's so easy when they're individual and they're already labeled, I don't have to re-bottle or re-whatever because then it's like Skyla did it and you know it's not gonna look as good. So brainstorm here, what's something that comes individually packaged that would be fun to share at the fair? Okay. Okay, stop. Save some for Angie. <laughs> I've, I've been given those all. You're right. Yeah. What else? What else could we share that comes lavender? Beautiful. Lemon. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> okay. I love it. Thieves. Thieves. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Yeah, these hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. Yes. Oh, yes. It does. And that would actually be a really nice thing to share. Especially, I mean, if that Ningxia packets, nitro, I mean, that's a, those are generous, those are generous gifts. You absolutely could. Yep. Last year I was working on a few, and the other day was talking about, and I know I work at night, it was all day long, so many days how do you do it? So she was aching so bad. And so I'm like, here, go in the bathroom and let this item yep. really let this on and lady roll at the end of the fair. I well, love it. During the fair and got her kit and stuff. And I love it. it. So I'm carrying this kit through the fair doors. <laughs> <laughs> what booth were you working? I work at the depot, the oh yeah. Thing on the end okay. the DJ and then also I before the fair party. Yeah. Party central. Okay. Very good. So there's tons of different things that you could take with the intention, like I'm not gonna leave the fair until I've shared these five samples with somebody. Um, does anybody have a custom link or a business card? Everyone should say yes, <laughs> right? So it's best, if we're doing good, better, best, it's best if you can get the prospect's name and number and then you can text them your link or text them some little bit of information, right? But then you've got the opportunity to follow up with them. It's, that's the best option. You know, the good option is you hand them something and wish them a great day. Maybe your, your card is attached. Um, and the better option is at least you send them your link or something. But the best is if you can get their information and here's my pro tip. On my phone, yours too, there's a notes section. So every single time you meet a new person, open up your notes section, go to new Young Living Friends or Young Living Soon to Be Members or whatever you call it, and jot down something that you learned about that person. Are they married? Do they have kids? Do they vacation in Florida? Do they love the fair? Whatever. Because when you follow up, you're going to use that information to say, it was so good to meet you. I love Florida too, or whatever, okay? But if you don't write that down at the end of a 12-hour fair day, I can promise you all the people will blur together. Maybe you even want to snap a picture when they're walking away. <laughs> that would be so creepy, but um, just saying. Okay, so if you have a business card, um, this, is, this is what mine looks like. I would highly recommend that you be smarter than me because I ordered 500 of these and I forgot to put my member number on them. <laughs> Classic move. But I have turned it into an opportunity to start a conversation. And I just profess that I'm superhuman, right? Not superhuman, but like I'm super <laughs> human. And so I just say, you know, this is my contact information. I would love to be in touch, but oh my gosh, I forgot one critical piece. If you could give me your number, I will send you that one piece that I forgot to put on there. And I just use it now as an excuse to further that conversation because you know me, I'm not going to throw them away. So, um, all right. And then 
The other thing, do you have a portable charger of some sort? It may or may not say Young Living. Sometimes they give us really practical gifts. Um, but I would recommend taking a lightweight charger if you have one because you're probably gonna go through more than one phone cycle if you're taking pictures and documenting your day, which you should do, right? And, and it's a great opportunity to snap some real life, how am I using my products while I'm at the fair? So if you go stand in front of the world's largest boar, hold up, you know, abundance or whatever. <laughs> Your thieves hand sanitizer. I don't know. <laughs> Shootron. I don't know. Whatever you want. But get clever, get creative, and show your your audience how you incorporate Young Living into your state fair day. Okay. Here's one other thing that I didn't pass around, but I am 110% in love with these darn little things. I ate a package this morning as a snack. Have you, who's tried these? Only a couple. Okay, we're gonna bust it open. So um, here's what I want you to do. Just hold your hand out and just pour some in your hand and then you just have to shoot them. <laughs> Save that for later. Unless you wanna pick them up one at a time, which will take you a dozen in a box. Or you can order them individually. You can, which is Why so silly. You? I wouldn't, but you can. <laughs> At least at convention, you could. Because we ended up getting 14, which was so random. So it was like a box plus two. I'm like, why did you give us two? And they're like, well, that's what you said you wanted. I was having a little ordering difficulty, but. Okay. Um, I think we covered almost everything. Kid power was another one that I had pulled out. If you have littles with you, do not forget to support them too. They're gonna need all the energy and they're gonna need rest breaks. But kid power, mm, this is almost all that I diffuse in my car now. I just love that. <laughs> so does, <laughs> so does not, I'm sorry. <laughs> Go down the wrong way. There's a car diffusers. <laughs> I think all the diffusers do. Uh huh. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> Things. It's okay. Oh, I'm so sorry. All right. So we covered a lot of ground from getting ready for the fair from today on through surviving it and waking up the next morning. What, what tips? Yeah, re recovery. We didn't really talk about that. Silver sign. All the silver signs. Before. Yes. After. Prepare. Thank you. Yeah, sulfur sign is our friend. Um, so is amino wise. Golden turmeric. We didn't even talk about Ningxia greens. I'm digging those things. Oh, they are good. And up your water. Leading up to it, yes. And you guys, be smart about knowing that it's going to be a big day. So my advice would be don't plan a big day the day after the fair on purpose. Unless it's followed by another fair day and then you just knock yourself out. Because Angie and I will be there for you, right? Right on. And this year we're going to have our granddaughter with us. So we're going to be a whole new, we're going to have our little granddaughter, Adelie, with us. For every day. Well, probably as many days as we go, because we're watching her for a couple of weeks while her mom and dad are on their honeymoon. <laughs> oh, gotcha. So this will be a whole new experience. But she was there last year when she was three months old, and she did awesome. So we're going to make a yearly tradition. That's right. That's right. So are there any any questions? Did we skip over an area that you were like, oh, I wish that she would have talked about when I do the Bill Riley talent show? I was just going to mention one other oil as yes. a suggestion. So a lot of people have breeding issues, and Raven Tara is one of my favorite ones for that. Indeed. So that was one I, was 
I love that oil. Especially if you're walking. Yes. Let's let's say hi to everybody. There's Rhonda. Hi. <laughs> oh, is that you? Is that your phone? Oh, my. <laughs> 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 it's okay. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Well, thank you so much. I hope that you truly do feel a little bit more empowered, but it's all about being intentional and planning ahead, just like everything else. And um, so I would just say, have fun getting ready. Don't dread it. And the shuttles are fantastic if you don't want to park there. The buses take you right to the gate and they're darn near free. So, and if you've never ridden a city bus, that in and of itself is quite an experience. So go for it. And a great time to use your products. It you is. How you use it it totally that. is. You've got, you've got a captive audience and people are just in a good mood. So go expecting the best. That's all I can say. Greet people because we, it's our job to raise the frequency, right? Because we have the secret tools. So be those people that everybody looks forward to seeing and then share why you are so unusual. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you, Rhonda. We'll see you later.